that's it on button so oh, 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 oh. hi everyone today I just received another carbon fiber uh, plate I'm going to build another one or two quads and um, this one is a bit bit easier than, than this one okay this is this is 1.5 and this is a uh, one mil a little bit more flex into it I hope it's alright for, for a quad I'm going to try it out anyway this is 1.5 this is a one mil and I'm going to make a quad which is going to be a lot better easier than this one this is a harder one uh, to make because you know like I have to line up all the um, bits and pieces and all that so this one here because I got the 3d printer I print up all the bits and pieces like this one here see show you like like that <clears throat> And then just put the arm in there and see the hole, ho holes already pre-drilled pre using the uh, 3D printer, All right? It's me again. It was uh, 43 degrees today. It's very hot now. It cools down a bit. And while it cools down, I just cut these uh, cut these bit here two mil thick and I uh, mount the mount the put everything together and I'm going to use a nice 32 flight controller just put it right there all right and the reason I put the uh, ESC so far away from, from the flight controller because this one has a magnetom magnetometer, so it should be kept away from uh, the EIC should be kept away from magnetometer magnetom matter because it has a lot of electrostatic, electrostatic and electromagnetic from the ESC. So it will interfere uh, magnetom magnetometer. That's why that. Just keep it away as much as possible, not much so, about, about 100 and, uh, 120 to 150 mils away. So I hope it's alright. You see how quick it is? That's because of our 3D printers, or 3, 3D printer actually. And um, yeah, I just program it and print out this. Uh, parts, even this one here, and just put it together. It's nearly finished actually. All I have to do now just put a flight controller wire in it. And put... Yeah, it takes no time. Here it is, nearly finished. Um, see the inside here, it's also a 3D print. You see black stuff here, 3D print, and these motor holder, motor mount, on 3D prints, print, and ESC holder, also 3D print, and this one also, 3D printer, and yeah, um, it's a lot easier to, to install, to assemble now, because actually all I have to do, I don't have to measure anything, just because it has the, um, the groove across this black thing here. Just put the arm in, just screw it, or you have to drill them first, and then put the nuts and bolts, and that's it. Or you have to drill them first, and then put the nuts and bolts, and that's it. And the whole unit will weigh about 200, 250 grams. It's, which is not bad, they're quite light, and yeah, it's strong enough to um, 
fly around with. Okay. We are the thing for colors. With our batteries or battery. And how heavy that is. Oh, 600 grams, is it? Yeah, yeah, 600 grams. Grams. Because, because it is an old motor. It's three new ones, and this is an old one, which is a, it, it has been bashing around a fair bit. So now, what I have to do is just put a battery and put a receiver in here and test it, to see how it goes. Here's a transmitter. See what I did? I just put it in, uh, red LED um, voltmeter here so it's easy for me to that just a reminder that um, I when I forgot to turn it off and this, this uh, LED stays on see what I did there that's what happens and when I, oh, this is a extra switch I just put it on that's, See, just turn it on. See the voltage? I don't, I'm not sure you can see it or not. See? And let's turn it on. See? Oh, because that's, I did that. That's because I like it to stay in the center. Because I'm not very, actually, not very good at flying, but I can build some of them and I know exactly what I'm doing now and this is a controller I'm not sure I, I can't really see I can't show you much see it's very small control in there very thin and this one here I did a 3d print the um, controller mount it's a lot easier and here's a USB that's where you you put USB it's good 50 so I just plug battery I hope I'm not going to get my hand chopped off no. okay Right. I'm going to turn it on see what happens because this one here I, that's a on button so oh 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 I don't know what happened there it just go flat out mm. see what happens sometimes Flat out. Went flat out. I don't know. Somehow it went flat out. Got no idea. I'm not sure whether this one. I think that's how it is. This one go there. This one there. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's funny. That shouldn't happen. So I'm going to put, I'm going to take it in side and test it and see what's happening, okay? Before I take it inside, I'm going to take the propeller, propellers off and let's do another test. 
Okay, this is the last, last propeller. I'm going to take it out. Now, I want to do it again. I want to see what happens. Okay. Power's on. Doing another test. What my heck? That's still to be fast. I would like to know. I might go. I think I think what I did was when I pulled this one down, actually I uh, just moved this one back this way as well. And that's causes the quad quad copter to spin like that. Too fast. I think that's, that's what I did. Okay, here's a big test. Uh, I'm just about to try it out now. Before I thought this is the back, but <laughs> this is a front. So that's a front there. I made a mistake of putting this like this. So I'm going to turn it on. Turn it on. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to be on the grass. Turn it on. Here, touching it. Got to find a way to stop that from doing that. This is a barometer altitude hold. I'm using barometer, and also this is a it has a magnetometer as well. So slightly drift to um, to the right or to the left. And um, see so what happens. trying to trim it see what happens now now no, it drifts to the right
so No, I think it's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go up a little bit. Still drift to the left a little bit. Hang on. No. It just... I think that's how it is. I can't get it really stay in there right in a it is very it is very quiet. Next one, next one I'm going to, to build a full body print, 3D print. So yeah, everything including the arms, the, the bodies, the, and this is going to be different as well. That's going to be very interesting, but I have to design it, I have to draw it up and uh, print it out. It takes a long time to print because three three D printers not printers are not the, the fastest printer in the world. So I turn everything off. Yep. All right. See you next time.